you've got a moderate swing speed looking for more distance and more forgiveness, the TSI One driver is right for you. Hey golfers, we are going to be discussing the new TSI One driver. It's going to be very, very forgiving, very, very light, and really easy to hit for those moderate speed golfers. Yeah, a lot of golfers are looking for a bit, way to compromise maybe losing some swing speed or maybe not quite having as much swing speed. The TSI One driver is lightweight. It's got a very low and deep center of gravity to help you launch the ball further and ultimately hit the ball a bit higher as well. So more distance, better performance on the golf course. The nice thing with the TSI drivers, especially the TSI One, is the ATI, so Aerospace Titanium Face. It's gonna be very, very hot off the face to generate even more higher ball speeds. So Thomas is gonna hit some shots with uh, kind of a moderate swing speed and we're gonna see how that performance looks on Trackman for you today. So I'm going to be testing with the Titleist TSI-1 10 degree driver. There's also a nine degree and 12 degree driver available. I'm gonna be swinging under 90 miles an hour with the Odiller Ascent 40 gram regular golf shaft. Let's hit some shots. Thomas, you've had five shots now. Just want to get your first impressions on everything between the performance or maybe the look and feel of it. It is very, very light and very, very forgiving. Extremely light, like with this golf shaft being 40 grams in it and also I know on the club head's probably gonna be a little bit lighter. I was able to, no, I wasn't swinging anywhere near as fast as people would see on, on normal videos, but I was gonna showcase what swing speed mm -hmm. a player would kind of fit into with regards to this, this driver. Swinging about 85 miles an hour, and it just seems so easy coming through because this, yeah. this light golf shaft, the light club head, both still flew nice and high in the air considering my speed was a lot slower. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you had, I think he had one actually up to 84 feet in the air. Um, and then, you know, I, I also wanted to touch on, I think one of you mentioned there was a very forgiving one in there um, where you maybe missed the center of the face. I believe that was the second shot um, where the one that did get up high in the air, he maybe missed it a little bit. And I mean, it's still up there. And I know distance wise for someone swinging 85 miles an hour, if you're able to hit it 230 to 240 yards, you're going to be like the club that you're using. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm impressed with that. Yeah, very forgiving. That one shot that you talked about by Smash Factor is one four five. So we know it wasn't as close to the middle of the mm -hmm. face as the other shots that that we hit there. But very forgiving. Launched a little higher. Spin stayed down. Club face is hot, regardless. Even though I didn't quite catch in the middle, it's what you're looking for in a driver. Mm -hmm. well, maybe hit a couple more here, and then we can kind of gather a, a complete feedback, and we'll give final conclusions. Sounds good. So Thomas, what type of golfer would fit into the TSI one? Yeah, it would be a player that is maybe losing a little bit of club speed. So club speed, once that club speed starts getting under 90 miles an hour, means that we need to probably consider a little lighter golf shaft. A little lighter club head also is gonna help to maybe bring that club speed up mm -hmm. a little bit and get the ball to get back more in that optimal window. Talking of optimal windows, I'm hitting with the 10 degree driver head, but you still do have the adjustable settings with, mm -hmm. with the driver, so you can change the loft, the lie angle as well. But there's also a nine degree option and a 12 degree option. So a player that does struggle with swing speed could definitely play the 12 degree drive ahead, get that ball to launch a little bit higher, and maybe they'll keep up with their bodies that were starting out driving on the golf course. Mm -hmm. And another option too that, you know, as someone who used to play kind of a senior driver when I was in my younger years, uh, maybe a teenager or somebody getting into the game that doesn't quite have the swing speed to maybe an adult, TSI one's a great option too, because they're gonna need that help as well. So it does benefit a wide range of golfers, it's just those specifically maybe maybe under that range of golfers that fit maybe a regular flex driver, TSI-1 is gonna give you the benefits that you need to hit the ball further and higher. And finally, I wanna to touch on forgiveness. This is a very, very forgiving driver. So the way it's designed, you can see that it's a little bit more triangular. Everything is kind of pushed back to get the ball to launch a little higher. Um, forgiveness is important. And we'll take a look at my dispersion pattern there. You know, I wasn't catching it right in the middle of the face every single time. I was actually catching it a little bit healy, but the ball speed was still pretty good. The spin rate was still staying down, even though I wasn't catching it perfect there too. Mm -hmm. So very, very forgiving driver. Been catching in the middle of the club face every single time, but I got away with it, still launched high and flew far.
Absolutely, that's what you're looking for out of the driver. Uh, yeah, the high launch, low spin, and distance down the middle of the fairway. So uh, I think we saw it here from the Titleist TSI-1 driver. Uh, a great option for golfers that don't maybe have the highest swing speed out there but still want that performance, TSI-1. So come in to Second Swing, one of our store locations, or contact our team online and get fit like a pro with the Titleist TSI-1 driver.